the digital age, where love letters have transformed into text messages, and a romantic dinner can become a virtual date over video chat. In a world driven by technology, maintaining intimacy through screens can feel like navigating uncharted waters. But fear not, fellow digital explorers, because in this video, we're going to dive into the world of digital intimacy, the digital dilemma. Welcome to the digital age where emojis convey emotions and autocorrect sometimes speaks an entirely different language. In this brave new world of communication, couples encounter a unique set of challenges that can test even the strongest bonds. First off, the absence of nonverbal cues can be a major hurdle. When you're sending a text or an email, you miss out on the nuances of tone, facial expressions, and body language. This can lead to misunderstandings. That playful joke you thought was hilarious might be misinterpreted as sarcasm. Then there's the issue of timing. In the digital realm, we expect instant responses. When your partner doesn't reply to a message quickly, it can trigger anxiety and doubts. Is something wrong? Are they upset? In reality, they might be in a meeting or simply busy. And let's not forget the minefield of social media. One innocent like on a friend's post can turn into a source of jealousy or insecurity for your partner. The constant exposure to idealized versions of others' lives can sometimes lead to unrealistic expectations. Moreover, technology can sometimes be a double-edged sword. While it connects us, it can also be a barrier. How many times have you seen a couple at a restaurant engrossed in their phones rather than each other's company? Balancing screen time and quality time can be a real challenge. So, the digital dilemma is real. It's about navigating the pitfalls of virtual communication while keeping the flame of intimacy alive. It's a world where misunderstandings can arise with a single emoji, but it's also a world where a heartfelt message can bridge the physical gap. Video calls, the new face-to-face. -face. All right, folks, let's zoom in on the magic of video calls. The closest thing we've got to face-to-face -face interaction in this digital age. You see, when miles separate you from your loved one, a video call isn't just a chat. It's a lifeline to intimacy. Now, here's the deal. Video calls can be a game changer for couples in long distance relationships. It's like having your partner right there with you, even when they're physically far away. You get to see their smile, the twinkle in their eye, and the quirky expressions that make them unique. But let's not kid ourselves. Video calls come with their own set of challenges. There's nothing more frustrating than a lagging connection or pixelated faces when you're pouring your heart out. So it's essential to have a decent internet connection and choose a reliable platform for your calls. Now, to make these virtual rendezvous feel more like a real life date, set the mood. Pick a time when you can both relax, dim the lights, and maybe even cook the same meal together. Creating a shared experience, even from a distance, can be incredibly bonding. Also, remember that eye contact is your best friend on video calls. When you look into each other's eyes, it creates a sense of connection that transcends the screen. So, resist the urge to check your messages or scroll through your social media while chatting. In a nutshell, video calls can be the bridge that keeps your intimacy strong in a digital world. Embrace the technology, create a cozy atmosphere, and look into each other's eyes. It's the recipe for a virtual date night that feels like the real deal. The power of text messages. All right, let's dive into the world of text messages, those tiny snippets of digital love that can carry a world of emotion. In the age of instant messaging, texting is the glue that holds many modern relationships together. First things first. Texts may lack the nuances of face-to-face -face communication, but they have their own superpower, the ability to transcend time and space. Whether you're in the same city or oceans apart, a text message can instantly bridge the gap. Now, the key to using text messages effectively for intimacy is to infuse them with meaning. It's not about sending a generic, hey, what's up? 
but about adding a personal touch. Use your partner's name, recall a shared memory, or share something specific you love about them. Emojis, GIFs, and stickers can be your allies here. They're like the seasoning that adds flavor to your messages. A heart emoji, a laughing face, or a virtual hug can convey emotions that words alone might struggle to express. Timing matters too. Send a message when you know your partner might need a pick-me-up or just to say good morning or good night. These small gestures can create a sense of closeness even when you're physically apart. And remember, texts aren't just for the serious stuff. Share the little moments of your day. A funny encounter, a cute puppy you saw, or a new recipe you want to try together. It's the everyday connections that build intimacy over time. So, my digital cupids, don't underestimate the power of text messages. They're your secret weapon in nurturing intimacy in the digital age. Use them wisely, infuse them with love, and watch as your relationship blossoms one message at a time. Embracing social media. All right, let's dive into the wild world of social media and how it can either be a lifeline or a landmine for your relationship. It's like a digital scrapbook where you share your life's moments, but you've got to be mindful of what you're putting in there. First things first, social media can be a fantastic tool for keeping the fires of your relationship burning, especially when you're physically apart. Posting photos and updates about your life can give your partner a window into your world, making them feel closer even from a distance. But here's the thing, while sharing is caring, oversharing can be a problem. Posting every single moment of your day can be overwhelming for your followers, including your partner. It's like trying to binge watch a series in one sitting. It can lead to burnout. Moreover, social media can sometimes become a breeding ground for jealousy and insecurity. Seeing your partner comment on someone else's photo or interact with an ex can trigger all sorts of emotions. It's crucial to have open and honest conversations about what's acceptable in your online interactions. On the flip side, social media can also be a place to celebrate your love. Posting a sweet anniversary message, sharing a throwback photo, or even creating a joint account can be ways to express your commitment publicly. So, my social savvy lovebirds, social media is a double-edged sword. It can connect you, but it can also create barriers. Use it wisely, share your life, but not every detail. And most importantly, communicate about your online boundaries. It's a digital world out there. Make it work for your love story. Balancing screen time. All right, let's talk about something that's become a modern day challenge for couples. Balancing screen time. In this digital age, our devices are like extensions of ourselves, but we've got to find a way to keep them from becoming a third wheel in our relationships. First off, let's acknowledge that screens are a necessary part of our lives. We use them for work, entertainment, and yes, to connect with our loved ones. But here's the catch. Too much screen time can lead to what some call fubbing or phone snubbing. Imagine this. You're sitting across from your partner at a cozy cafe, but instead of gazing into each other's eyes, you're both buried in your phones. It's like a scene from a dystopian romance movie, right? So the key here is finding balance. Set boundaries on screen time, especially during quality moments together. Designate phone-free zones, like the bedroom or the dining table, where you can fully focus on each other. Now, when it comes to long-distance relationships, screens are your lifeline. But even here, balance is crucial. Schedule regular face-to-face -face visits if possible, and make sure to have offline quality time during those visits. Communication is the hero here. Talk to your partner about your screen time concerns and be open to their feedback too. It's about finding a rhythm that works for both of you. Remember, screens are tools. They don't have to control your relationship. By striking a balance between digital and real-world connections, you'll keep the flame of intimacy burning brightly. So, my fellow tech-savvy lovebirds, while the digital age brings its share of challenges, 
It also offers unique opportunities for intimacy. From video calls that bridge the gap to heartfelt text messages, the key is to embrace the digital world while staying grounded in the real one. By navigating these digital communication challenges with care and intention, you can keep the flames of intimacy burning brightly, even in the age of screens. So, let's embark on this digital adventure together and discover how to make technology work for our love lives.